Welcome to the video talking about maintenance of your flute. Today we're going to talk about some techniques to keep your flute in good working condition and then also some of the most common things that go wrong with the flute and what you can do to fix those. First of all, here are some things that you can do to keep your flute in good working condition. You should all, as a flute player, have some sort of a swab that goes through your flute. Um, sometimes it's a cloth that you pull through when you're done playing. Um, other times, I like these uh, flute pad savers, they're called. And um, what these do is not only do you clean through them, or clean your flute with them after you're done playing, but you actually leave them in your flute when it's in your case. And what that presents, or what that uh, prevents, is moisture collecting inside of your flute. So when I am done playing, um, I can just take my flute, and I can put this pad saver and just keep it in here um, what in the case. And that's gonna take all that moisture when I'm done playing and soak that up so it doesn't cause the, the, the pads to wear down. So then when I get ready to play, I can just take that out. Now I also have, some of these come with a, another little section here that um, you can clean the head joint with here and also the foot of your flute, okay? And you can just leave that in one of those sections too um, for storage okay so these are really convenient um, the other version of this is you have these flute cleaning rods that you can uh, take a little piece of cloth and string through like a threading in the needle here and you can then take that now I don't have a little cloth attached to this right now but we can take that through and collect that moisture right when you're done playing and then you can actually keep that cleaning rod inside your flute as well, just like you're doing with the pad saver. So that's uh, really highly recommended every time you get done playing your flute to clean out that moisture in there. Um, another thing then to do is um, some of you might want to get a polishing cloth. Now I don't have one here right now, but you can get a polishing cloth that helps um, keep the flute nice and shiny. and. Um, you can also just use a regular cloth too. What you don't want to do is like spray like you know cleaning solutions and things like that on here. Um, don't spray anything on your flute. Um, but silver polishing cloths can be nice if you if you want to get one of those. Um, not uh, required, but can be nice to keep your flute in good shape. Also, if your flute ever gets wet, you know maybe you're in marching band and you're outside in the rain, don't put your flute away while it's still wet. Um, dry it off with a cloth uh, or just a towel and just get it dry. Uh, again, that will uh, prevent issues with the pads um, on your flute. And then another thing too with your case, um, make sure that you only store your flute in your case. Um, the case is not meant to store other things, like don't try to fold up your music and put it in there. Um, you might have a spot to put a pencil in there, but don't try to throw a bunch of pencils in there. Um, you know, whatever else. Just try to keep that case for just your flute. You try to cram stuff in there and that can bend the pads. Also, when you're putting your flute away, be very careful to not take your flute and like grab down really hard because that can bend the keys. Um, and when you put your flute away, especially watch out for the A-flat key here, the one that sticks out, that can get bent very easily. So put your flute away in the case very nicely. Now a couple things that go wrong with the flute really often is a key gets bent, especially that A-flat key. And if a key gets bent, that's going to cause a leak and the flute isn't going to play correctly. So that's one of the first things to check for if your flute is giving you issues and your band director can help you with that too. Another thing to check out for, and I'll see if you can see this here in the video, your flute has these really tiny um, little springs. We call them springs. You might think they look more like wires. You can kind of see that wire um, right in here, okay? And that wire is, well, we call it a spring, needs to be on the right side of this little thing called the post, that little post right underneath my finger there. If it gets on the other side of the post, then the spring isn't keeping the keys down the way it should. And then we have issues, again, with keys not going down when they're supposed to and air leaking in your notes won't sound right. So again, if your flute's not working, check and see if those springs are all on the right sides of the posts and that you don't have a spring. If it's on the wrong side of the post, it's gonna be like sticking out. And what you can do is you can try to take your finger or a pencil or a pen, or actually what I use is a, a crochet hook. If you guys have a crochet hook around your house, 
and just push that spring back onto the right side of the post. Um, another thing sometimes I see students have problems with is they can't get the um, they can't get the head joint of their their flute into the main section easily. They really have to push hard. Um, a neat little trick that I once learned for that is to actually uh, take a pencil and just color on here. Just take a regular number two pencil, color this, and that graphite is going to help that flute slide in. All right. Of course, sometimes you have a bigger issue that you or even your band director can't fix, and then we can send it into a repair shop. Um, it's also nice every now and then to send it in, have them clean out your flute, um, you know, maybe once a year, just to keep it in really good condition on the inside. Finally, make sure you have a tag on your case that identifies your instrument that has your name, your address, your phone number, or email address so that if your flute gets lost, it can get found and returned to the right place. So there's your tips for maintenance and how to keep good care of your flute, and I encourage you to do that this entire year.